Good morning. It's pretty cold and rainy outside today. The forecast actually calls for snow later on. We'll see about that. I was planning on putting some vent visors on my Silverado, but we'll have to postpone that for another day. But for now, I'm going to show you how to use a multimeter to test to see if an extension cord is working or not. If you feel the, the cord getting hot when you're using it, that could be a sign that something's wrong. So it's a good idea to test your extension cord, especially if it's old, if it's been kinked or run over, things like that, you might want to replace it. But before you do that, test it to make sure it's a good cord. So this has been sitting in there. I haven't used it many times, so I'm going to replace the battery first. Don't know if it's bad or not, but just because it's been sitting there for oh, th three years at least, um, I'm just going to go ahead and replace it to make sure we have a good battery in there to start. There we go. Now this whole back comes off. And there's the inside and here's the battery. And also there's a fuse. Here's a spare fuse. Sometimes if your multimeter doesn't work, it could be the fuse. You might want to check that before just tossing the thing. More than likely it's just the fuse. Let's see if it's good. <laughs> Still a good battery. After all these years, I think we'll just put this one back in. It's, it's got some current to it. <laughs> plug them in to the multimeter. The common is the ground. So the black one will just go in the common hole. And the red one we'll put on ohms for now or ohms. And that's the little horseshoe looking. So see we'll plug it in right there. And then we'll turn this down to the arm setting. So what we're looking for is a reading of 0.8 or less. So we will take the red and there's this hole. See how the slot is short? I don't know if you can. There's a long slot and a short slot. The short slot is the one that the red goes in. So put that red in there. And then over here, we will touch, can you see the meter? We'll touch the cool, the, see how it changes? See how six, five, four, so that's what it's about for. There you go. Four, three, four, three. And then it should also, when you plug it, when you touch it to any of the other ones, it should have a zero reading. So when we touch it to the other two prongs, nothing happens. But when we touch it to the ground on this side, that's what happens. 
And so we could test this other cord just to make sure they're the same. And when we touch it to the other ones, we don't want any reading if we touch it. So when that one's plugged into there, we only want a reading on this one. We don't want a reading on this one. Let's see, or this one. That's good. So it means this cord is good. On to our second test. So now we're going to test the voltage. And what we need to do is turn our multimeter to the volt setting. And because we're working with live electricity, I prefer to wear my gloves and I have rubber sole shoes on just in case. I mean, this is the real way to do it, so it's safe, but I just like to take precautions anyway. I don't feel 100% comfortable around electricity. Let me just show you before I plug it in that this, um, that this outlet is good. So what we'll do to test the outlet after you turn it to the volt setting, then just like with the extension cord, there's a, the short one is the one that you would plug the red into. Let me get you a closer view. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put the red in the short hole and we're gonna put the black in the ground on the bottom, the, the round shaped one. and see the reading we'll get. And there we go. It should be 120 or around that, 119. Yep. So that shows that this is a good circuit. And now we'll plug the cord in and repeat the same test. One nineteen point nine, one twenty. There we go. And there you go, a quick and easy way to test your electrical cords and your outlet. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Hope you learned something. Uh, like, subscribe, tell your friends, and most of all. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Mm.